Hey everyone, John for Popeye's Postcards. Today I'm going to answer a question that someone asked me in the comment section of one of my videos. How do I process or what do I do with the large lots that I get? And I'm here to tell you, don't do what I do. Don't be a John. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I buy huge lots. What I do is I cherry pick uh, the cards immediately out of those lots that I think are going to bring back my money if I list, list them on eBay quickly. When I cherry pick out those cards from all those lots, I put them in other totes and I put them over here next to my sorting sorting station and I label the boxes that these are all ready for pictures. So this is probably... There's some more there. Uh, this is probably 20 some thousand, 30,000 postcards. And what I'll do is I'll just sit in a chair here and I will sort all the postcards into their respective states. There's topics down here. Uh, so all these right here are sorted and ready to the list. I would just grab, uh, you know, grab a, a section and scan them and list them. So they're all categorized and sorted ready to go on ebay these some of these totes have been here for four plus years i mean there's dates there's july a whole bunch of july i'll even sometimes put notes that these are good and this is what's in this box um but yeah some of these have been in here for for years i just haven't gotten to them yet and the stuff that doesn't make that first cut gets put in boxes and this is just one shelving unit area i have several these ones again have already been cherry picked and what i'll do is i'll put on here bulk sell i've already been through these several times cherry picked out the initial and then probably went back through through at least one more here like this. I'll put this on there. Need second sort. Not much. There's folders and holiday in here. You know, this is when I searched it. Now I got to go back through and pull out topics for shows or for my antique mooth stock. I'll put on there that you know, this, this box is all Frederick, Maryland. There's major dupes, duplications in there. I mean, some of this stuff... I last looked through this box back in 2015. There's several boxes here that I've not looked through for that long. Uh, so I'll usually, after that first cherry picking, I'll put them in a box and I'll say, hey, hey, this this box, all these new cards, they need their first sort. And then I'll just cross out that I did that first sort. Uh, and that's when I did it. So there's still cards in here that can be cherry picked uh further oversized cards i'll throw in their own box this one's animals and foreign so i kind of try to give myself you know an indication of what's in some of these boxes there's more ephemera 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 oversized cards all this stuff is listable and these are just from several dealers that I've bought out over the years. Here's 19 or 2018 was the last time. Still need sorted. Still need sorted. 2018. Very common. So this is what happens. This is this is a hell of a back stock, or what do you what do you want to call a death pile? This is a freaking death pile. This is just one unit. Man, here's another unit. I have I'm out of storage area down here. So this is all this is all shipping supplies and some stuff for the house. But again, it's this is all this goes down another four feet. Here's stuff that I gotta put in my antique mall. These are all priced uh real photo people. This one's already sorted. So this one this one I could probably just get out, probably scan. Yeah, look at these are already split into topics 
and could easily just grab a section merry widow hats uh motorcycles you know i could just grab these and start listing astronomy so more likely than not this will probably i'll go back through this again and pull out the good stuff and maybe put the rest in my antique mall and i got more cards here with more uh packing supplies and I got more cards here. This is from another uh, buyout I did. But this is how I, I mark them. So I just got to go back through. There's a New Jersey collection I bought out. Frederick collection. This is all D.C., New York City holiday in there. And I even still have some boxes. Like these are ready for pictures. There's probably half a dozen boxes ready for pictures that just need to go, this is my old sorting system. They need to go into the the, the pukas over there. Uh, and these are ready for pictures. Just haven't gotten to them yet. And this is just another shelving unit in my office. More cards, these all came from the auction I went to in August of 2021. I started doing a little bit different with the labels started putting on there a little bit more information and using these uh, plastic tab holders. So I got another, I don't know, 50,000 cards in here that need further sorted. We won't even talk about the 10,000 postcards I have here in my garage. More cards to go to the antique booth plus another 60 boxes of quarter cards for card shows or future lots on eBay. And yes, I even store some postcards in here. Hopefully that answers the question, what do I do with all the postcards that I don't list? Nothing. <laughs> they accumulate in this house, but I'm like those old curmudgeons on American Pickers this should let go? No, better not. How about this little Jefferson Street sign? Not for sale? <laughs> no. Nope. That's something you probably want to sell, huh? Oh, no. I'm keeping that one. Not for sale? No. Is this something that you consider selling? No. Is any of that stuff for sale? No. <laughs> all this trilling stand? No, not really. How about 150 bucks? No, I don't believe so. What about that? Uh, no. That'd be something you'd sell? I'll probably keep that. You offer that? Not for sale yet. <laughs> 100 years old. And they say they're going to end up doing something with something. They're not. They're going to die with their motorcycle parts or they're going to die surrounded by, <laughs> by postcards. It's hard to be morbid, but I know I have an issue with uh, not getting rid of cards. But hopefully that'll change in the future. We're building a channel back up to get some name recognition so we can start auctioning these postcards off on YouTube. So that'll be coming hopefully sometime in the new year. But for now, uh, if I disappear for a few days, it's because I'm buried under a pile of postcard boxes. What would I do differently or what should you do differently? Uh, as a box of postcards slides <laughs> off another pile. Um, don't be a hoarder. Uh, I should have done a better initial job sorting maybe put these all in state categories even if i'm not going to sell them individually on ebay do an initial sort of everything just don't cherry pick and then throw in a box and hope to get to it in the future i needed to just sort everything out take some time on the front end but then i could have boxes of say all new york or boxes of pennsylvania that may not be listed individually on eBay, but can be used for postcard show stock. I could use it for antique booth stock. I could sell it by lots on eBay or the upcoming uh, YouTube auctions I'll hope to be doing. Organization when you and processing when you get the huge lot is very important. And I wish I would have done that from the get-go. I'm getting a little bit better, you can see, again, by labeling the box is a little better than just saying that I need to sort it a second time. So just some suggestions. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you got found some humor in my uh, condition. So thank you for watching.